Welcome to the DS Incubator. This is an introduction to Tmax. It's a meetup that was led by Alex last week, but unfortunately I failed to record it, so I'm gonna do a remake. It's not exactly as he did it, it's gonna be my take. I'm gonna be comparing Tmax with the way we manage different windows in our graphical user interface, whatever uh, operative system you have, that might be Windows, Mac, or in my case, um, Right now I'm using a Chromebook, so you, you know I'm, I'm going to show how we naturally manage um, windows in, and panels and desktops in uh, a computer when we have access to a graphical user interface, and then how much uh, more challenging it is uh, when we don't have a graphical user interface, uh, and how we can do it when we want to work in such an environment, uh, and, and then is when Tmax is going to be uh, great. I also um, will show how uh, Tmax helps us detach processes so they can run in the background while we do other things with the, with the terminal. And finally, uh, how to log into a session that someone else is using so that two people can work from different places in the world at the same time on the same um, terminal. So let's get into that. Uh, so the first part is nothing uh, that might surprise you. It's, you know, let's, let's first build the mental model that will help us then understand what is the cool thing about Tmax. So here I'm showing uh, one uh, screen with Chrome in it. And um, for us, using a graphical user interface, like in this case, the one that Chrome provides, it's very easy to move Windows around so I can detach it from uh, the, you know, can make it not take up the whole space of the screen but move it to a left uh, here in the background I have another program actually the program that browses files in this system uh, so we, this is a minimal example to show that um, we are kind of used to managing multiple programs running at the same time and displaying them on the same screen uh, if you want to maximize one of them uh, you can easily do it with the windows if you want to close it completely you can also easily do it too and um, sometimes you may want to um, one program cover um, the other. So for example, here I can maximize this window and it's gonna uh, cover the one in the background and I can change to the one in the background and make that one take up all my screen. So all of that are things that we are used to doing. We can also do that when we work on the terminal uh, as long as we are uh, in an environment that offers a graphical user interface, that is no problem. Let's, let's uh, show uh, that. For example, if I move, uh, to this other desktop in the same um, computer. Here I have a terminal, and in this terminal I may be running uh, Bash. Um, this is actually what I'm, I'm running, Bash. And if I do an LS, I can see the directories that I have in the system, for example. I may open another terminal, because I may want to run a different process uh, that covers the one um, that is uh, that before was in the front, now it's in the back and um, I can make this a little bigger maybe. Uh, I may be running a different prompt, for example, docker. I can do uh, docker run uh, interactive brokers um, Ubuntu no, uh, bash. So let's run this to just to show that um, we can run and here inside that program, that Docker image, I'm going to run R. So we are doing two different things in this terminal. I'm running R inside Docker container, and I can move it to the right. And in the background, I have just bash running as well. So you know, this is how we would manage two uh, programs, in this case, on the shell, um, right at the same time. Right? And we can resize them, for example, doing that, something like this. All right, no rocket science for now. Uh, that you may know or not different shortcuts to these things. If you don't, you may just drag things, uh, you know, maximize them from here, close terminals from here, and so on and so forth. But what happens when you do not have a graphical user interface and you cannot use the mouse to do all the things that I have been showing? And that is the case uh, when you work, for example, on um, a remote computer. For example, if I log in to um, a computer on DigitalOcean. I have one uh, here, so I can do SSH uh, root at, and here I need to find uh, my account in DigitalOcean. Mm, let's go to digitalocean.com. Uh, I'm gonna log in because I have an account with them.
and here um, I'm gonna look for a project uh, here is a server called Mauro and I'm gonna copy the IPv4 address all right so that's all I need so now I can go back to uh, the terminal so I'm gonna paste that right there okay so I'm gonna with this what I'm gonna be doing is using this terminal to connect to a remote computer I need to give a password here and this should connect and here I am notice that the user now uh, is uh, root and the computer is called Mauro uh, before I was in a different system I was uh, the user Mauro not the user root and the computer was called Penguin not Mauro so this is to convince you that you know, although it looks similar, this is a completely different uh, computer. And here I don't have a graphical user interface to interact with this system. So I need to resource to other tools. So let's clear this up with Control L, and this is when Tmax is going to help. So Tmax is this program that when you run it, uh, you start a new Tmax session. It's something similar to um, creating a new desktop in your computer. Uh, that starts with no program, or in this case, it starts with one program. The, the program in the um, being run at the moment is ZSH. Uh, I could run Bash instead, for example. And if I do that, you will see that the name under here, uh, I think, soon will change. Um, maybe not until I create a new window. In any case, what we have, ah, there you go, it just changed. What we have here can be read as the following. So I'm in a window called Bash. Uh, it's marked by the asterisk as the active window. It's the only one I have for now. It's also numbered um, with the number zero. And this is running in a session that is also numbered with number zero. So I could rename um, the, um, uh, this window with, uh, so any command that you do in Tmax has to be prefixed with control B. So I press control B and then the comma that will mean access to rename the window. I'm gonna call it a terminal, for example and hit enter. Um, also, if I want to create a new window, I can do it with Control B and the letter C. You will see now that there is this new window there, and I could also uh, rename it uh, to, for example, with Control B comma, I could rename it to, say, Docker, uh, so, or maybe not Docker, it's good, it's called it R. Um, Control B comma, Docker R. So let's do that. Uh, and now here I'm going to do docker run remove uh, interactive let's use the image rocker first I have here uh, and run bash first and now R right so here I have this window number uh, one that is running docker and I have this other window uh, with a number zero that is running a terminal. How am I gonna change from one window to the other? Well, Control B, and to change the window, you just type the number of the window that you wanna uh, focus on. In this case, zero will take me to terminal, and there it is. And if I want to go back to the window number one, I press Control B and the number one. So this is equivalent to uh, in a system like this one uh, to focus on one window or uh, yeah, so I can click here, window number one. Actually, I can use control one to focus on that one, and then control two will focus on this one, right? So it's the same thing that we are doing um, now here with uh, Tmax, right? And uh, that not only that doesn't end there, I can also split this screen. I can do control B and percent, which in my case is shift number five. And as you can see, I have just created another um, panel inside the window, uh, the active window, which is a Docker R. Here I could do uh, something uh, else, like Docker run, um, maybe another um, um, instance of uh, Rocker, Rocker verse, and let's do it. Um, this time I'm going to run R directly. Yeah, but these two sessions completely separate from each other. If I wanted to resize, I don't have a mouse, I can't drag uh, this, uh, dragging, this doesn't work. So what I have to do is Control B. And then with the Control pressed, I can press the arrows and that will resize things like that. 
Yeah. If I want to resize the whole thing, then I can do a uh, control uh, minus, uh, and that will kind of shrink everything in proportion. But to resize the windows, control V and the arrows, while you keep press the control uh, button. All right. So we've learned how to create your windows, how to move between one window and the other, how to create panels, and now let's see how we can uh, rename the session. So we can do control B and dollar sign, which for me is shift uh, number four, and that will be, um, you know, gives us the ability to rename this session. Let's call it uh, DO for Digital Ocean, um, session one, for example, S1. All right, I hit enter, and now we have things a bit more organized. We have a session running here called DOS1, and one window called terminal and the other window called docker and this window called docker has has two panels so if we want to close a panel it's control b with x uh, you know we get confirmation if we want to close it uh, and if we want to close the whole window is control b with and um, again we get a confirmation if we want to close this window we say yes and in this case we are uh, now uh, with just one window and if we want to work at an even higher level, at the level of sessions, then uh, we, um, um, you know, we, we may want to create more than one session. So um, I could create uh, another terminal here and then log into the same server and then work from that terminal, or I could detach the, ser the terminal that I have um, right now. So this terminal is uh, attached to the session number one, but I could detach it with Control B and D detaches from that tmax session but the session is running and that is pretty cool because you may be in that session running a long running process that may take days and while you do that um, on the background on the front 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 ground foreground uh, you may want to have an interactive terminal like the one that I have here right where you can type things uh, so I can uh, I can investigate which sessions I have with tmux, TMUX ls we show that i have that do s1 session right in the background and i could reattach to it with control b um oh sorry with tmax attach and now you have to if, if it's name you have to say minus t and the name of the session in this case s1 we reattach that session control b d detaches from it um we may want to create another session uh, and we can do it with tmax new uh, if we do minus s, we can name the session. Let's call it, you know, ds dos um, two in this case, for example. Um, so and now we are attached to that one. So if we do a tmax ls now, we can see there is two sessions, and we are attached to session number two. So and um, that's uh, you know how we can um, attach and detach. We already learned how to. Um, create windows, create panels, close panels, close windows, um, and we may want to now also show how you can collaborate with someone else in a different part of the world. So let's do, uh, let's open another terminal, pretending that this is a terminal run from a computer uh, somewhere else, not the one that you're holding in your hands. So say that you want to work with a colleague, and your colleague also has access to a terminal, and they're going to log in to uh, the same um, server on DigitalOcean that is running the computer that you're running. So um, this is looking good. So let's do, um, uh, they are going to also do SSH root at the server. Oh, no, not that. Let's get the IPv4 number from here and paste it there there you go so someone else so here on the left it's you here on the right someone else it logs into the same session or to the same server and they're going to investigate which uh, tmux sessions are running tmux ls they can see the same two sessions that we see here on our own computer so this is our computer and they decide to log in to session number two which is the same one that uh, we are logged in here. So uh, how do they do that? Uh, they do it with tmax attach and uh, t for is the flag that we need to pass the name of a session, the OS2. So here we attach to um, that session and you can see that if I type something here on the right, that immediately appears also on the left. That's great because these two people 
the one on the left and the one on the right in different parts of the world are working on the exact same terminal. They can also, for example, create a new file inside uh, temp, let's change the directory to temp and create a file called abc. Uh, so now uh, the person on the left says, um, hi, I'm person A, and the person on the um, right can continue editing the same file, hi, I'm person B. Okay, so the two people working exactly at the same time. Uh, to say the, the file here in Vim, column, wq, closes the file. So, uh, all right, if we want to close the, um, um, terminate the session, uh, we can do control uh, D. Um, that should, let me check, dmax ls. Yes, because that, that was the last window that that session had. Closing that window, close the session as well. So let's uh, try the same with the last um, session that we have here. Now from the left, I'm going to attach dmax uh, the session, sorry, the session uh, named uh, TOS1. And with this, what I want to show is uh, once again that if I close this window, which we can do with uh, Control D, uh, will um, keep going. Control D, Control D. Now, if I do a Tmax LS, I should see no server running. Uh, all right, that wraps up, uh, finishes the, the meetup of today. To wrap up, we learned to use Tmax to manage windows, manage panels, manage sessions um, in a way that resembles the way we manage um, also the similar or equivalent items uh, when we have a graphical user interface. But Tmax becomes necessary, particularly when you are working on a computer with no um, graphical user interface. You know, if you have a graphical user interface, you may you may want to use it anyway if, if you like it. But uh, it, there is almost um, it's, it's crucial when you don't have uh, such a tool. All right, I hope that you find this useful. See you next time.